All right, so here we are for the fourth and sixth final match of the day. Uh, we kept, our opponent took a minute, so I just restarted the video. And as you can see, our hand is fine. It's very mid-rangey. We're going to have to go get our, um, I can never remember, Scrubland. Uh, so we have access to white since we have a tar pit. But it is, it is important to go and... Um, get that death right shaman out as early as possible um, there's a small argument for going and getting the the savannah but not really because we don't it's only for the activated ability of death right shaman that's almost always irrelevant and then we can't cast our one uh, Lilian off of it all right volcanic island as the first play from our opponent doesn't give us enough information yet uh, but we are just going to pass uh, we could attack but it's better to threaten the potential of something um, tropical island into volcanic this might mean rug delver a slow draw from them uh, which is good because our draw is pretty slow too. We're going to want another land to try to resolve this true name nemesis. Uh, sure. Chose to not shuffle. Alright, so we don't really have a choice here except for eating uh, one of his spells. Uh, I don't want to waste our land in the graveyard for that. Uh, that's, a, that's a good draw. Um, actually, I feel like being greedy here. Let's brainstorm. We're going to need to hit lands. All right, beautiful. So now we have to figure out what we want to put back. Uh, given our board state, I don't feel like we need uh, all of our lands or our Jace. And I kind of want to keep the Force of Will. Um, so this will go get a Tundra. And we will just play a Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, that'll eat a Bolt. I mean, potentially it'll eat a Force right now. And so if this is hitting a Force... That could mean what does that mean if this is hitting a force that means his hand might have another force but at the same time he might not have a bolt so I'm gonna force back since we are protected from days he has to have another force will let him put down three cards and then we have these these four things in play and if he forces again uh, he just does not have a bolt which means that we should easily be able to play turn name next turn uh, swords any of his non mongoosey threats this is a pretty aggressive force from me but uh, getting the batter skull uh, I feel like the the guard is down um, and he can't stifle it okay he is gonna force again All right, well, I'm not going to play into um, days anymore. I mean, he did pitch a days, but I'm still not going to play into it. Yeah, Wasteland's going to get our tar pit. And here comes a goif. So we are down to very few resources. Maybe putting, maybe not keeping that land was wrong. Three lands, so he's going to play a true name here. A Chasm Skulker? OK, 
Okay. That is some unique tech. I don't feel like his last card is. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be risky here. I don't I I I sense the guard is down. I don't think his last card is a daze. And then we're just gonna return the, the skulker to his hand so he can't like ponder or brainstorm to kill our Jace. And now we'll Okay, so he's gonna go Tarmogoyf now. And a Mongrel, we're gonna draw a beautiful draw. Um We're going to play the marsh just in case we need it, but uh, odds are we won't. And we're going to have the plow just in case we need it as well, because uh, like we've been eating his graveyard, so his nimble's not good. But we are going to want to plow that skulker. Actually, no, we can just, yeah. We can just plow his goif. And then. And just kill him with your name, GTA. Yeah, not gonna have to worry. So, normally in this matchup, I had uh, better removal um, in this source of rest in peace because that would deal with a lot of our issues. But we do have a, an extra path um, for Green Archer Decays, our verdict, and cards that we don't want. We don't want Jace's at all. Um, we'll keep Council of Judgment and Liliana. Uh, Vanillion Clicks are just a little too slow. And uh, I do like access to some spell pierces, and I find Ponder to be too slow on the draw. And now I do like having Snapcasters and Death Rites and some number of Thought Seizes, but I don't like a ton of Thought Seizes in the matchup um, because they're so disruptive. And usually I want to use, um, I want to be more reactive. So I cut a few of those, and I just keep spell pierces. This is this is a way to protect my lands. Um, our deck does lose a lot of blue. Um, because we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, we lose a lot of our blue density, but uh, we can't really do anything about that because we, we still need Force of Will in our deck um, to be able to push through a spell that we need to resolve. Um, sometimes that's a true name nemesis or just a removal spell. Uh, so this is usually the configuration. And the games go really long, and uh, um, there's going to be a time where we just need to uh, counter a stifle on a fetch land um, to be able to stay in the game especially against any delver draw so it's about not overindulging in any effect because they can attack on so many fronts against you even with the I mean I think the the skulker is just something he's testing and having fun with I mean he is 3-0 uh, I would have a difficult time actually playing that card but uh Maybe it's good. I mean, it just gets swords and doesn't do anything, right? All right, um, I'm going to keep this. It's It could backfire, but uh, we do play a lot of lands. And he's just going to go trop, and that probably threatens stifle, so... Uh, we're not going to be able to do anything with our land just to use yet. Alright, well, if he's going to get stuck on one, I'll get stuck on one. Alright, well, we can't, we cannot do anything. It is... It is not in our best interest to do anything, and we don't know how to thought sees him anymore.
Hmm. Now he's debating on whether to discard or to play either a Ponder, a Brainstorm, or a Delver, probably. Uh, I would not play a Mongoose on this board position. Good. Do not want him to draw land before us. All right, sweet. We drew a land as well. So now we will just keep playing this waiting game. I, I don't want to play into a spell, especially since we're both missing land drops. I'm hoping to draw out before him and let him discard a card. Him not playing anything means that I feel like he might have two stifles. I'm going to respond with a brainstorm. And what do I not want? I don't think I want the Council of Judgment. Since we have green, maybe we don't want both. I think we want all of these. So maybe we just don't want two death rights. And I want to try to get all my lands out here. I don't care if he resolves a brainstorm. I just want all my mana. Uh, he might have a daze here, which will be good. Since we have a savanna in hand, I think we just have to get double underground sea. Sweet. And now we just get a Tundra. And I'll let him brainstorm. So no days. Uh, and our goal here is to just have more, just to, you know, get past the mana denial hump. Like once once we get past that, our deck is significantly advantaged. Uh, since all those like pierces and dazes uh, lose effect. And like this, this life of the loam is going to take a long time to get going. Um, But we got out of that turn um, quite nicely. So here's a Tarmogoyf. Uh, and we're okay with him playing. We're okay playing in two things now because of how stacked our hand is. Like we just want to run him out of spells. Yeah, there's a spell pierce. Do not really care about that. Now we're going to play our Stoneforge Mystic. I'm not going to put the Savannah at risk here. We'll just put the Creeping Tar Pit into play tapped. No Force of Will, which is great. We get a Batter Skull. Play into Daze one more time because I'm okay with it. this getting dazed because of uh, Snapcaster in our hand. Here comes a bolt, potentially two bolts. But all right, having a three three does somewhat suck. But our hand is fairly stacked. Life loans 
fairly relevant at the moment. Brainstorm's not, but uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna fool around with the brainstorm. Uh, and here, I would like to like eventually creeping tar pit this nimble mongoose, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure we should just abrupt decay this in case he has another bolt effect. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. How many cards do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're not we're not gonna be able to fight his his graveyard. Uh, we are going to just main phase take this loam though because he can just keep one card and then dredge uh, away useless cards, and I don't want that to be a thing. So yeah, we're just going to. So three, how many creatures do we have? We have access to gaining uh, f six life. And he drew another land, which is good. I don't want to... I guess we are getting into bolt, double bolt range, but we do have a swords. I don't feel like we have time to play this batter skull, so. cards you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and then with the potential to get more yeah we're just gonna have to eat eat a creature probably gonna have to interact with this thing next turn we have answer to that I think we want to use the Snapcaster so we can try to threaten blocking. And you might just have force blue. All right. Well, that's that's exactly what the doctor ordered. This is gonna be for. This is gonna force him. Nope. All right. So now we've taken over the game. There's not many ways around it. He doesn't have a force wheel because he would be forced to force it, and he drew another land. And then now we can just continuously gain and drain that's that's very similar to BBD's drain and brain but it's called gain and drain where we eat his graveyard to eventually dwindle down this mongoose and I don't see any reason not to just jam batter skull with two death rates 
Going to nine life won't change anything. Uh, potentially, if he triple bolts us. Maybe this is just greedy. I guess this is more of a go for the throat type of uh, play. You could just, all right. What is this? The Vendillion? Oh, cross on grip. Okay. Well, we have our opponent empty handed and we have an answer to his one threat, an answer to his next threat, and two death rate shamans to fight him. And a console's judgment. That should just kill something. I like how it says one vote. There's a bug for a while where you could just like get two of someone's permanents. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So next turn we'll be able to take down, but we're not. <clears throat> um, he can still fetch to make it and potentially draw. All right, that's the match. All right, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the six matches that I played with Deathblade. Uh, Deck is long, grindy, and fun. Let me know if you actually were one of the few that watched all six videos. Um, I highly doubt it. It's probably because you were at work and you were just listening in the background. To me, stumble my way through tons of difficult lines. And came out miraculously. Woo! Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be playing this deck Sunday at the SCG Open in DC, the, the Legacy Open. And uh, along with probably playing it at the Invitational next weekend, uh, I think it's a very good deck, and I uh, hope you enjoy. See you guys later.